So, what's going on with Ether Bitcoin and why are we down here today? Uh, somebody asked me for my long-term view of Ether Bitcoin. Uh, so here it is. Well, last night when we looked at this in our group, with this uh, bearish cross of these daily moving averages, the 20 below the 50 and this double top rejection, we were always looking for this to break down. We're at the previous low. I do think that this is going to continue lower uh, down to this daily 200 moving average in the bottom of this channel and I'll explain why and I was also asked for why what is my count how do I count this and am I bullish or bearish and how do I see this well um, <clears throat> let's talk about this overlapping moves here because you know when a market has a correction normally you'll see an ABC you're looking for a three wave correction which is what called an ABC and then you carry on sometimes though the B leg so you'll have your A leg and your B leg will go beyond the A leg and then it'll come back so it'll go sideways like that sometimes it'll make a new low like a broadening wedge sometimes it can look like a triangle sometimes it can even extend to five waves but uh, you get the picture and then it carries on sometimes though it'll look like this so you'll have your uh, A leg down and then your B leg ex will extend higher and then the C leg you know we'll come back and so it looks like you've just made you know you're still trending you haven't made a correction at all and that's called a flat correction and i think that that's what we've done here in f bitcoin because i can count five waves up here very nicely uh a we see back uh for a and then b and c so our correction looks like a b c and then we carried on higher why do i also think that because wave three very often has a I might be wrong and this might be uh, different, but uh, wave three very often has a relationship to wave one in that it's usually 1.618 or 2.618 of wave one. So if we measure our wave one low to high and project it from the bottom of wave three here, you can see that in fact we were 2.618. Um, so that works very nicely. Now, normally um, you would expect a wave three to retrace 38.2 of the rally but you would also expect it priced very often is contained in a channel and you would expect it to come back to the bottom of the channel so if we think that this is wave one two three if you connect the top of wave one and three which i've done um, and you clone it which i've also done and then project it from the bottom of wave two that's quite often where you'll come back to eventually if i also so this is why I'm looking for the bottom of the channel, the 200 moving average. It's also if I put my fibs on all the way from the bottom here, um, you know, very often markets come back to 50 percent. So here we are sitting at a 38.2 level at the moment. Is this potentially good support? It, potentially it is. We could see a little bounce here. But if we break down below 0 0.0312, we are going to come back to 50 percent of the entire rally in this really cool level at 0 0.0282 and the bottom of the channel and it's a really cool level obviously because um because i think you know we've got this um support and resistance this previous high and this previous low so loads and loads adding up for us uh uh for massive support at 0 0.02829 for f bitcoin and that's why I think that we will come back there and likely overshoot this. You know, we've tried this 38.2 level twice. I think if we close underneath it, 0 0.0312, that it will become resistance and will likely carry on lower um, in F Bitcoin. So that's 